Uh, Kelly Garcia, K E L I Garcia, G A R C I A. I'm a sergeant with the Oceanside Police Department. Okay, Sergeant, um, can you talk about kind of what you had here tonight and what did you guys respond to? We responded to a call for two people that were drowning in the right out on the north side of the pier. The victims didn't jump, they were not pier jumpers, they were actually swimming in the water got caught in the tide and were on the north side of the pier. Um, so people, fishermen from up above saw them and called 911 and that's how we ended up there. Once we were there, our harbor unit from the Oceanside Police Department headed out there. There's only two harbor officers on board. So one had to, of course, um, maintain the boat while the second officer jumped in the water. He swam about 50 yards to get to the first victim and swam back with him to the boat. He was on the boat and then he swam about another 50 yards to get to the second victim. The uh, boat was in shallow water. He was in about five feet of water. He was in the actual um, tide. So he was had to throttle up out of the tide to get um, out of there and away from the pier for safety and so the other harbor officer ended up having to swim about 75 yards back to shore with the uh, second victim. With the female? Yes. Okay and it was it was in five feet deep of water and it, the waves were crashing right and they were holding on to the the I guess the poles of the pier? Yeah the the pylons or poles of the pier there was a uh, fisherman from up above had um, thrown ropes down to them and that's what they were holding on to until the harbor officers got to them. Okay, and you guys made a pretty quick response here, right? Yes, very quick. Okay, anything else to add, I think? No, just uh, very impressive work by both the harbor officers. Um, the harbor officer that was um, in the waves handling the boat with the victim, and then the other officer that ended up having to swim 75 yards back to shore. Um, so just very impressive work by both of them.